muted, so let me try that again. Hello out there. Uh, I got it. I got it so close. It was so good. It was so nearly almost perfect. Uh, hello. How's it going? Uh, so, I am your ST, Zed, uh, and I am here with the best Sabat players in the world. Um, I would just like to go around and make some introductions, but first I do want to say welcome to this here game number two. Oh my god, we already got a, we did a thing, Why, Wiley Hobbit. Holy crap. Woo! Holy crap, Wiley. Uh, so we, uh... This here is game two of a Crusade of Thorns Sabbat edition. Uh, and when we left off, our plucky anti-heroes were in the middle of a game of instinct uh, to attempt to figure out who is going to be the pact's leader or ductus. Uh, so there's only about a, I'm going to say, a, a, a round half hour uh, before sunlight uh, crests over the hills. Um and our our knights are doing their thing. Uh, so real quick, just to go around, I'm going to start with uh, Isaac this time and end with Ivan. Um, so Isaac, why don't you go ahead and just say a very brief little bit about yourself and uh, your character, and we'll get going. Uh, I am Shogun. I am Shogun117 on Twitter, and I have been a DM in many different games on this channel uh, as well as a player in a few uh and uh yeah i've been playing as isaac a uh pander which is a clanless uh vampire that's it. perfect no that's good uh roxy hello everybody i am amanda i am known as jimmy of diamonds on twitter instagram and youtube and I, this is my first time playing Vampire the Masquerade in its RPG format. And I am playing Roxy the Nosferatu. Excellent. Who's a badass? Yeah, yes. super badass. <laughs> Eddie. Hello, uh, I am Evan. Uh, I, uh, I am at uh, Evan Jennings 64 on uh, Twitter. And uh, I am playing Eddie uh, in this game. And he is a, a, a nasty gangrel sabot. Nasty, he definitely is. Yeah. <laughs> Gianna. Yeah. Hi, I am playing Gianna today, who is a La Sombra, uh, the clan of shadow weavers. Uh, I go by Mrs. OG Cron Cron on Twitter at an underscore between the Mrs. and OG, and then you have my Instagram. Um, I played Vampire in its LARP format for about a decade, um, though it's been a couple of years. This is uh, my second time now playing a tabletop version of the game. So this is really exciting, and I'm super, super excited for game today. And finally, Ivan. Hey, everybody. I am Cap Jack or at Captain J Cross on the Twitters. Uh, you can find me all over the place here on Welcome to the Party. I am a long running vampire tabletop player, occasional LARP player, but this is my first fifth edition vampire game. And tonight I will be playing Ivan Kukushkin, the Zemitsi Priest. Awesome. And I am Zed or ZX, and I am uh, the storyteller for this particular branch of the three pronged. Uh, trident of vampire that we've got going on between here and Soul Bear RPG. Uh, I've been playing vampire and vampire related games now for uh, about 16-ish years, um, which is m much longer, frankly, than I'm entirely proud of, but uh, <laughs> I I'm, I'm down with it. Uh, this is also my first time messing around with 5th Ed. Uh, for anyone who is coming to us after maybe having uh, perhaps kickstarted some uh, some fifth ed stuff, uh, just to let you know, uh, at the time that we made this, Sabat rules did not exist yet. Um, so all of our uh, Simisi and La Sombra uh, disciplines and things those are those are made by us. Um, so when supplements come out and they have new rules in them, are we going to transition? Probably not, because I really like the stuff we came up with. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, we're just going to stick with that for now. Um, but, 
Otherwise, we I'm have fucking chap live over here. Oh yeah, the disembodied voice that you hear. Am I fucking chap live over here? What the fuck? The disembodied voice that you hear is Throck, aka Throck plays, <laughs> aka Sir not appearing in the stream today, uh, <laughs> because he is uh, helping out uh, uh, still on rules and such. Uh, but he's got a severe case of bad head, uh, and so didn't feel like he could make it uh, onto camera. I have walking pneumonia and don't want to be on camera today. It's not bed head. My hair always looks like this. <laughs> <laughs> I won't go <Fuck>. like this. <laughs> but uh, let me say, the, if you want our Sabat rules or our Camarilla setting book, they're right below us, and today we are. Uh, do our sponsors and stuff. Remember, 10% off at Insonard, where we have an amazing... Uh, uh, merch shop there now. Click on merch and get 10% off anything, including a Crusade of Thorn Thorns t-shirts, which are now a thing. So if you click on merch, oh, yeah. put in welcome at checkout, you too can have a Crusade of Thorns or welcome to the party t-shirt. Bye. I, no, wait. Ah. Er, oh, he only, he only muted himself. I have beef I, with no, you, No, I'm not sir. leaving. I have beef with you. We can, we Why? Because can, the, there's no new to the party shirt, man. It's coming. I had to do more Photoshop editing. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. no, yeah. no, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. There will be one. Everything is fine. Um, all right. So. so also, Rainbow yeah. Railroad. Talk about Rainbow Railroad. Uh, Rainbow Railroad is a fantastic uh, uh, charitable organization that helps uh, members of the LGBT community to get out of terrible places where they are persecuted and hopefully to get them to much nicer places where they will not be so persecuted. Um, and so... Any proceeds from bits and things like that uh, go to them. Am I correct, Sean? That is incorrect. Um, so pro, you must d click the donate because we do not have a specific donate uh, link for them. If you want to join us in supporting Rainbow Railroad throughout the course of A Crusade of Thorns, A Sabbat, Anarch, and Camarilla Chronicle, set in 1943, you must click on the Rainbow Railroad pretty picture down there okay. or the link that Death by Mage so kindly shared in chat in order to donate to them and share in our charitable goodness. Perfect. So bits go to us, but we would much rather you donate to Rainbow Railroad. Fact. Okay. All right. So I think we're ready to begin. How about the rest of you guys? You feel ready? Oh, absolutely. Yes. All right. So uh, just to set the scene, it's about a half hour before sunlight. Uh, pardon me. Isaac, Roxy, and Eddie have all just returned uh, points were awarded uh, by the priest for their awesomeness, and uh, they will be allowed to make up rules. Ivan, before we start, do you want to explain the game to anyone uh, tuning in, and then we'll get right into it? So, the name of the game is Wiggly Jiggly. The way it works is the priest acts as a mediator for points, basically the referee. Uh, the priest can award points for whatever they decide meets the goals. And then once a point is awarded, that canite gets to create a rule that everyone must follow for the duration of the game. Thus far, we have gotten three rules so far. The first rule, the initial rule, is that everyone must move on foot. The second rule, which was created by Gianna, is you must use the existing building to improve upon it. Rule number three, as created by Isaac, the really, really mean, <laughs> is break a bone for each point you get, which led to lots of people snapping their own fingers until Ivan snapped our, uh, well, our uh, current employee's finger. And with that, we're ready for more rules. We have five more to do. All right. So who goes right next? Then. Eddie, it is your rule next. Hmm. Eddie kind of looks around at the... I don't know if anyone remembers, but there's a big pile of fat on the... Uh, <laughs> and meat on the front of the thing. Oh, yeah. Poor Sebastian. Looks at, looks at the, the flowers that you brought in. The truck outside. All right. If we're going to do this, I'll play along. Any alterations that you make have to have either a tactical or utilitarian reason. You know, they got to be useful in some way. You can't just you know, bring in flowers. 
Huh. Well, then, then if that's the case, then everything and any future oh, alterations must be pink. Well, it is good that Roxy was next. But the interesting. <laughs> Why? Interesting. She's allowed to make whatever rule she wishes. Mm. It must be pink now. Let's no. see. Uh, Gianna, what mm. do you have? I think that when you earn a point, you must state a reason why you would make a good ductus for the pack. I would make a good ductus, for instance, because I've had experience in leadership. I've been, uh, when I was in Italy, my sire ensured that I had experience in leadership in our local Sabbat packs. And so my experience would make me a good ductus. That's my Interesting. Wish. Let's see. Well, then it is my time to make a rule. I'm updating our objectives. All rules moving forward, now apply to finding a food source as well. We need to eat. Mm. As for why I would make a good duck this, while yes, I have taken myself out of the running for it, I also have experience. I have vision. I have skills. As you will see by Sebastian here. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, Isaac, I believe you are next. My new rule is to... that the game may not end until the winner gives a hand to the sun. Interesting. You put your hand into the sun? It's too high. Zed? Yeah? Is there, is the sun coming up yet? Uh, you have about 28 minutes. Okay. Interesting. I would be a good ductus. Because everyone opposing us would be broken by me personally. Hmm. Interesting. Well then. I would suggest that we do not habitate in the lower rooms. Hold on, we have a, an audio issue. <laughs> oh. What happened? Hold on, I can't hear. Yeah. My mic, my, my thing went out. Quickly, everyone. Vamp. <laughs> <laughs> um, so one thing I actually can talk about right now to sort of fill fill the gap. Um, at some point, we will be... So we're going to have to sort of fast forward a little bit at some point. Um, every... Pardon me. The, the game yeah. progresses in something like real time. Pardon me. So in order to maintain coordination across all three streams... Uh, each game happens in the order, or like, each window of time happens in the order that the games go, and each okay. game technically takes one week, okay? So, uh, although we didn't actually get through uh, even a whole night... That's, Nobody did. Yeah. And, Just to, And that's yeah. fine, but in order to maintain the timeline, um, at some point during today's stream... We will essentially fast forward uh, what we like fast forward a week. Now, when that happens, what I'll do is I'll ask you guys for what are almost like downtime actions. I'll ask you what you're up to during the week. Vampires, even Sabat, move relatively slowly. So it's not that strange that it would take us, you know, roughly a week to get most things done. Um, there's a lot of time spent lying around looking cool. So, uh, so it won't happen until like, we sort of agree that we're ready for that to happen. Um, but we will need to have that happen at some point during the stream. Um, and we, yeah, just to stay like on track. Okay. All right. Um, especially because things that happen <laughs> for you guys affect other games. <laughs> 
then um are we over? We have okay? one more rule. Oh, okay. And that one is Gianna, you have the final rule of the current point cycle. So if you gain a point you shall state a promise that you will keep to the pact, whether or not you are the doctors. This would go beyond the length of the game. So my promise to this pact, whether I am the doctors or not, is that your enemies shall become my enemies. That we should protect each other. And whoever threatens you threatens me. As long as this pact stands, that is my promise to you. Noble, you might be biting off more than you can chew with that one. <laughs> Noble. It is noted. Now then, we have an assortment of new rules and very little time. Well, I, I actually have a favor to ask. Eddie, you have that big knife. I do. Up on the counter, she places her arm. You have not won yet. Would someone cut off my hand? I will throw it to the sun. You gotta win first, then I'll cut it off. True. We're going to I'm ten sweating. points, right? Out of the two whole more group. Available po- we are two more available points. Yeah. I'm gonna now, go upstairs. Hold on, Isaac. Mm. I actually wanted to uh, to talk to everyone first in regard to this game and in regard to our actual mission here. Um, yes. So amongst these rules, the next thing we really need to do, no matter what anybody wants to do, it has to have to do with a food source, correct? No matter what move we make, it has to have to do with a food source? Okay. What other actions you take, yes. Okay. Now I'll help you all get your food. There's no problem. Humans are easy to come by. But um, I have something that I think you all should know, and I think you should know now before it becomes a problem, because I am starting to get hungry. Um, I don't normally work with others. I work alone, usually. And it's never been a problem because of that, but since we're on a team, I think it might become a liability. Uh, I don't eat mortals. I can't eat mortals. I do not drink their blood. I do not hunt mortals unless I need to kill them for some other reason. I can only eat canines. And more specifically, I can only eat their organs. So, when we look for a food source, now I don't expect any of you to go out of your way to aid me, but just so you're all aware, it may take me a little longer to find food and it may be more difficult. It's easier in a war zone, but in a city where our enemy is so entrenched and, and well, they're not on their back foot. They're on the def- you know, they're on their defense. They, they have everything that they need. It might be a lot harder for me to find food especially if it has to be pink. <laughs> That's going to be hard. <laughs> Roxy's just laughing. <laughs> Wait. Flesh is pink enough. Well, Very true. exactly. Oh, and Ivan is going to go over to Sebastian. Slit, um, Ivan, he's going to slit his own wrist and pour some blood down Sebastian's mouth. Because he's unconscious, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's the best and, like, choice. massage the throat to make him swallow. But, oh, blah, blah. He swallows. And uh, just take a little dab and put it on the corner of the mouth. Pink. Point to me. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. <laughs> After all, we need someone working for us when we need food. Sebastian will be the first of those. I'm going to go upstairs, pick one of the rooms that has not been taken, 
and I'm going to step inside and begin to clean it up, tear it up, get rid of the carpet and organize it and label the inside of the door uh, so that it can't be seen from the outside, but label the inside as the chapel. I think that this meets all requirements. Mm. So the chapel, is it pink? Uh, With a bit of my blood on the wall, yes. (laughs) (laughs) Is it pink? (laughs) Is it pink? Well then. We still had a piece of blood here for food. We shall face our retay here and Mm. gain strength. It is tactical. Smart. I want to go to uh, the room that I was already tearing up in the in the first session, where I was tearing Point up. Point to Isaac, which leaves us with an interesting development. We are at ten point because I will pay any price for Cain, mm. and I promise to uphold any command or indication that he would pass down. I win the game. Not necessarily do you win. Gianna, she did not follow the rules. Uh She did not state why she would be a good ductus on her last point. I mean, she did pause, previously. Pause, 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 pause. pause. Uh, 